Hey there, friendlies. I'm far from home. I'm in Alberta playing a music festival. Um, some of you will recognize Scott from Cocktails at Home. He's in one of the other bands that's playing here. And it's nice to finally see you in person again because yeah. it's been a few years. Okay. So for the whiskey, neither of us know anything about Douglas. Okay, um, this is a distillery out of Oliver, I believe, in the Okanagan. Mm. Uh, that's pretty much all I know. This bottle itself is special. Um, this is... There's the Companions of the Quake, which is a whiskey club, and what they do, what the chapter in, in Alberta does is they buy whiskey futures. So they bought half of the cask that this bottle came from, and they got 44 bottles of cask strength, and the other half of the cask just got bottled as, as a batch release, but not at, at um, cask strength. So That's pretty special. Yeah. I, I, I feel pretty... Uh... Pretty lucky yeah. to be trying this right now. And, and the plan here is I can't fly home with this, so we're gonna taste it, we're gonna see if we like it. And then our bands, and I guess whoever in the other bands who wants uh, a little dram, if there's any left over, whiskey is meant to be shared. It is meant to be shared. Okay. Um, Scott thought better than I did. He brought some uh, some Glen Cairns. Yeah. You know, yeah. listen for that pop. It's all right. It was. Yeah. I was expecting something bigger because it was so hard to get out. Yeah. But anyways. Yeah. Do you want to pour the drams? Oh, okay. Can I do it? Sure. Uh, you know what? And I, I pour sort of energetic yeah. drams. Yeah. I pour more dribs. <laughs> Why do I say these things? Okay. So there we go. Now, um, this is the peated release. They released mm. one peated, one unpeated. Um, so... Yeah, it literally, I know nothing about this. Me neither. So what, what are we at here? So we're at cask strength 63.4. 63.4. Um, I don't know anything about camera coloring or chill filtering. Doesn't say anything on there, eh? Doesn't say anything on there at all. Single barrel, barrel D006. Oh, mm, I want to try it. In the color. It, it, it could go either way, depending on what the what the oak is, but there's nothing on the bottle about what the oak is, so. Mm. You know what I just noticed on here? It's what? it's kind of hard to read, but it, they actually say non-chill non -chill filtered. filtered. No, no coloring, coloring, no additives. Holy shnikes. Yep. That should have been bigger. There yep, it so is, right there where you can't see it. put it on the it. bottle, that's good, but it is, it is kind of tucked in there a little bit. Huh. But I'm glad to see that because, uh, as you know about me, I like no camera coloring, and I like no chill filter. Absolutely. Okay, at this kind of ABV, though, I guess it's not unheard of for them to be non-chill filter. Yeah, yeah, totally. Right. I, I think that would be, it would be kind of, honestly, maybe a little bit weird to chill filter something at cast strength, I feel like. Yeah, the, the appropriateness is, is not there. Yeah. <laughs> Did that just happen? Yeah, it's like a oh. sniff. <laughs> Okay, that's that's a recognizably Canadian whiskey. I'm getting Absolutely. a lot of a lot of caramel, um, kind of a candy corn. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, right away, um, I definitely smell the the Canadian a little bit of like syrup yeah. uh, sweetness. I'm trying not to go too far in because at 63.4 percent, I'll blow my nose right out. Right? You know, it, it's surprisingly like not you know killing my my nose, but. We have been in the woods for a couple of days. Yeah. Um, there's a freshness there. Yeah, it, absolutely. It's not, a, it's not a bad smell by any stretch. You know, I often get like, you know, orchard fruit. Yeah. There's a, yeah, there's a fruity note there. I'm having a hard time nailing it down. It's not like a lemon bomb or anything. No. Hmm. Malt. Malty. Yeah, definitely malt. Very nice. Smells great. Not what I'm used to, like with no, the scotch, but no. I think I could, I could appreciate it. Uh, something tree, like a resin, mm. spruce or something, which I like in a whiskey. I don't get it very often at all, but yeah, I like my forest uh, scents. <laughs> We're getting plenty of those around here. All right, I'm going in. You're gonna do it? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, there's a lot of wood in that now. Oh yeah, super oaky. Very oaky, wow, I like that. Mm. Hmm. It's funny because with Canadian whiskey, I often say that the best stuff 
is not available anywhere, right? Yeah. You go anywhere in the world, Canadian whiskey is like a Crown Royal. Yeah. Big caramel. Yeah. Kind of a synthetic tang to it. Absolutely. This is not that. It's sort of hoving into the Canadian whiskey sweetness, but it, it doesn't have all the stuff I hate about but it. But it's more more that on the nose than than on the on the palate. Like yeah. I, I don't it doesn't take I don't get that sort of Canadian whiskey thing on the No, it's definitely uh, much more it. interesting. Hmm. Now here's the thing. Um, not only are there only 44 bottles of this, but they're, they're not buying another Futures of this. So this bottle is the one that I can ever get. Wow. Oh, now I'm getting the peat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Definitely a, a little bit of peat. They're not overly... No. Not a, not a, not a peat monster or anything like that. Um, I believe... So my fiddler, Peter, is the one who got me this bottle because he's a member of the Companions. And I... Didn't he say it's finished in an Ardbeg cask? Yes, yes. Finished in Ardbeg cask. But, for, like, not not finished for too long because I'm not getting an overpowering peat here. Is that is that the sole contributor to the to the peatiness of this? Apparently so. Okay. Yeah. It's just the finishing. Yeah. That makes sense. I kind of don't want to give this an actual grade because I can't do a follow-up for, for on my channel. Right. But I will call it, call it a win. Yeah. I'm still getting, you know, uh, uh, like um, um, honey. Yeah. I'm getting a honey hit uh, but there's something in there that I'm like I think it's pine resin or mm. spruce resin because I get that there's something really foresty in this mm -hmm. uh, almost like a rosemary oh yeah yeah you know yeah herbal oh, yeah and I like that kind of flavor yeah so I'm I'm uh, this is pretty fantastic uh, yeah. and at 63.4 I'm not having any problems yeah it drinks a lot friendly right? yeah yeah so uh, so this is a win, and I'm going to see if I can order some more stuff from them. See if the non-cash strength is as good as this. Um, they ship. Okay, that's good. Which good to know. Which makes me happy. Uh, but yeah. Awesome. All right. Thanks so much for sharing that with me, man. And we're going to share it with our bands. Yep. It's going to be a good weekend. Awesome. So uh, thanks for hanging out with us for this little whiskey non-review. We're just sharing some cool stuff with you. Um, as I always say, if you like what I'm doing, then please do the following three things. One, comment down below. Are you into cast strength or do you prefer like straight up core releases? Uh, second, please share this video. That helps me more than you could possibly imagine. And third, leave me a smiley thumb. If you don't like what I'm doing, that's okay. Leave me a friendly <laughs> thumb. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.